Hello and welcome back to The Great Cricketer and the end of the series and possibly the summer brought to you by ACCO, India's leading digital insurance company. There they are, there's ACCO. Get around them because they get around us. Uh, Sam Perry uh, is in Adelaide. Uh, Pezzy Lad, good evening to you, sir. Hey, good evening. Here goes. Wonderful day's play once again. A dominant Australian performance. Start of the day, hoping for an absorbing arm wrestle. A couple of beers in. Just uh. wanted England to melt. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Mm. Yeah, that's it, baby. Yeah, drink that up. That uh, tastes like summer. I'll tell you what. Um, tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> mate, dipped a couple in myself too. Don't, I'll give you a tip. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Mouth did not move. Some ventriloquism. <laughs> um, some ventriloquism. Uh, Australia finished nine for 473 in that order. England finished two for uh, fuck all. Uh, Pez, give it to me. Can you give it to me? Can you give me the ground explainer again? I haven't even set you up for this. No, but no, can we no. just talk about what happened at the, the ground, ground today? Oh, it was just, that's enough, boys. That'll do. <laughs> oh, I felt for Pat Cummins. That would have been his first chance to do it. To- I saw Nick uh, Churchill did that once. Somebody tweeted that that would be their ideal amusement park uh, ride, just to <laughs> just to be able to sit in a uh, pavilion, stand up, and wave people in with a declaration. So obviously you'd have fifteen extras, oh. actors that have been hired, just out on the field, eleven players yeah. out on the field, two bats, yeah. two umpires, and they just yeah. have to keep coming yeah. in, going out for the next uh, for the next customer. I've always, I've always wanted to do the Michael Clark whistle with the, with yeah. the fingers mm. in the mouth. That that whistle to get that, and then just and then just wave them in. Um, but that that's sort of more of a him than anything else, I think. Um, Pez, can I give you? Um, <laughs> that's unnecessary. Can I give you my? It's not a great explainer. I just want to tell you how I feel about this Ashes already. Okay. Uh, I, I don't think because I have. A, I don't think I have a clue at the moment how you feel. I'm not sure it's been made for you. So, <laughs> um, you know, Ian, Ian, um, welcome to what would this be? We've had f- we've had four days of the Brisbane Test, two of this. So this is your sixth session. Yeah. Um, welcome. Yeah. Sit down. Uh, tell me how are you feeling, mate? I'm fucking annoyed. Okay, I'm annoyed. 2013, the Ashes out here in 2013, or whenever that was. No one's ever seen in our lifetime. Mitchell, no, Mitchell Johnson just, that was just so good. He was so good and it was so quick and, you know, Haddon was saying some shit and we had Clark and uh, Ryan Harris was doing some good stuff. And, you know, that, it fe- that felt good. That felt good to me. Like, that's just, a, that's just one gun player out playing the opposition. You know, I can cop that and that was five you now and that was good. Like, we were excited. There was facial hair. It ticked all the boxes for me. 2017, the last time England were out here, you know, that was like, that was for me, that was the, like, that was the rise of the Steve Smith, the beep, 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 boop, 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 boop. Like that was the that was the first that was the first we'd ever seen of that. That was when Steve you know, Smith became R two D two. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's when his mannerisms became so much like oh well he needs professional help, um, and so you know, but I could cop that again because it was like oh no we've just got one gun player mate this time, like. This Australian team are, are so beatable. And, you know, and, and look, it took a great India C team to beat us last time. But, you know, Safri have done it. Just stand up to them. Give us, a, give us a battle. Give us a challenge. This England team, the first six days, is the fucking meekest, wettest, utterly pathetic team that I've seen in. Let's go with a generation just for, you know, as a unit of time and measurement. Mate, that, have they done anything right? The fucking fielding is embarrassing. They're tired. The selections, the bowling shit, the tactics shits, the same players, they're rubbish. Oh, but, and, then the, and then the conversation around it, Pez, is like, oh, well, you know, we beat the bat. If we took it, if we took it, you're shit. The team is rubbish. And I'm upset because my team isn't winning the way that I want my team to win because my team was like the best team ever. And I want that to be the standard. So... Uh, and it's six days in, and the series is over. Fuck, that felt good. Yeah, have you been doing your mindfulness exercises this week? <laughs> <laughs> you know that I haven't. Aren't you, uh, like, aren't you grateful that England have at least brought out, you know, a brand that we can, um, not, I don't mean you and I, that all of Australia can revel in? Like, don't we deserve this in a lot of ways? Mm. I mean, we've been locked up for a long time. They're... They are they are playing the Washington yeah. Generals at the moment, and the thing is, yeah. like you mentioned, some other good teams, India's threes, 
very good side. They had a good side last mm, year. Very good team. Um, yeah. the, the, the thirsty yeah. threes and, uh, and South Africa, of yeah. course. And, like, <laughs> hey, you know, when you come out to the desert to play, and I'm not talking yeah. about South Australia, I'm just talking about Australia, which is just largely regarded as a desert, with a, 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 yes. a, a penal colony settlement desert. Yes. You've got to. Don't forget arid. You've got to bring weapons. You've got to bring weaponry. You know, there's there's no yep. there's no way to win here without. I mean, we joke about the alpha staff mm. and the chess and the pipes, but you know, there's a reason we've biologically evolved <laughs> yeah. that way. Our crickets biologically evolved that way. You know, because the, yeah. that that that's the armory you need to succeed here. And England just regularly fail to um, produce the weaponry, the cannons that you need to succeed yeah. here. And uh, yes, and they try and convince themselves. That they don't need that. They need relentless accuracy. They need the the good wrists and the um the funky plans. Yeah, it does at the pretty the pretty lengths. It it doesn't work. Yes. It doesn't work out here. And yeah, I mean no. Like there's a, there's a sort of there's a bit of an insult to the Australian team with your analysis in the sense that it's like, you know, England, you must be really shit because we're not even that good. There is there's a lot of cricket. Mm. Oh, I mean, even just being there, like a lot of cricket I saw in the last two days, which was which was world-class cricket from three or four players that England just happened to be faced with them. You know, uh, Mar- Marnus will talk about Warner and Smith uh, were just, uh, it's as good as anything that's around at the moment. And that essentially accounted for about yeah. four-fifths of the, you know, the, the batting that England had to bowl to. Um, the, the cricket that they're yeah. playing is uh, is is at the top level at the moment, you know, that that's, that's taken care of that stuff. Yep. And it, it is worth pointing out, but it is more fun to kind of concentrate on the limp wrists and the lack of cannonry uh, from England. Oh yeah. 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 Now what I like the idea of them bringing out weapons. I mean, they did bring out bear stow, but that's a different kind of weaponry. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I should say, you know, bringing some color from the grounds, <laughs> like I was sitting opposite. Um, yeah. And thanks to everyone who came up again today. And, and um, again, asked if, if my dad and I had secured a bag that um, we, we, we need it. <laughs> We neither sought, therefore, secu- nor secured a bag. Um, uh, pe- people who actually, that's my fault. Who actually, so it's my fault. I'm sorry. People actually came up in front of my dad. Dad's just wondering, what, what, why do people <laughs> want to know if you have... I mean, I've got it. I've got my... He's got a Woolworths bag of, of, of sunscreen, a charger. <laughs> a mandarin I'm for like, some reason. I do not know what this fixation is, Dad. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, anyway, and um, I just like that your dad would. I like, just like your dad would have gone like, "I've already got one. Don't worry about it." Yeah, it's, I'm all good. I'm all good to go. <laughs> get all of these, all these instant messages of guys just going, "You got, you got." Anyway, um, you carry. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so opposite us, uh, I could the the Barmy Army and then the Richies were sitting next to them, and it was making it. There was a good noise going on, so I walked around. And I'm so glad I did. Mm. I just walked around because I wanted to see what was going on. It's obviously, it's, it's all pretty weak. And to get recognised, yeah. Well, that goes without saying, yeah. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah g'day, yeah. guys, yeah. <laughs> yeah, excuse me, sir. Can you put your mask on? No, I can't, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, it doesn't work because the mask is on. Anyway, yeah, I've got issues. <laughs> hey, yeah. let me get to my point because yeah. um, you just mentioned yeah, Johnny Bears, though. But um, the Barmy Army for about an hour... Um, just sung songs about uh, uh, you know Johnny Besto and 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 letting him um, shag their wife, and that was fun. And he was enjoying it. And you know, of course, that was the the main joy. I think the Barmy Army are getting out of it today. Sure, sure. Um, okay, Bez, let's get into the three things. Um, I'm not sure how interesting this first one is. Like the first two, really, uh, I suppose. But like Marnus's first Ashes hundred, uh, he finished the innings at four for 103. Um, got enough that, chances, man. but. Um, I don't. I just don't rate. No, you don't like it. No good. No, I know. I saw that going around on Twitter. I mean, sometimes you play knocks and people drop catches off you. You know, a four for one hundred and thirty. He didn't get out, and he kept batting. I mean, and you know, he played. He just played really, really well. He did get some luck. That's what happens in cricket. People need to grow up. Um, The the main thing with Marnus's innings is Tommy Stewart on Twitter again. Uh, Tommy Stewart is essentially, uh, and I'm paraphrasing him there, but he's 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 a proud member of the LGBTQI plus community and he said um Marnus's leaves are so camp and gay i love it um and uh and then went on to um <laughs> to do a few impressions of it and so i think Marnus yeah. should embrace the um identity as a gay icon uh i think that's the main thing to come out of this uh this innings for him and and 
Okay. And good on him. Yeah. Had to be good for him. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, a rainbow grip, that kind of gear. I like it. Manus is um, an icon. <clears throat> I, why can't... Why, that would be interesting given his strong uh, Christian faiths. I think it'd be uh, good for him. <laughs> good for everyone. <laughs> I'm serious. It's not, it's not good for someone. Um, I feel like both things can be true. I think he did play well. And I think that he left the ball, and he's done this so well in both games. And I think actually, like, Rory Burns nicking off, he like he feels he has to play that. And he kind of does, but, like, Marnus is letting the same balls go. You know what I mean? He, he's Because he's playing off length, you know, yeah. and he ends and up leading a half volley and he kicks an it hour. off. <laughs> anyway. No, no, exa- exactly, exactly, exactly. I'm not, I'm, not going, I'm not going hard on Rory Burns there, mm-hmm. but, like... Um, but, but, I, but both things are true. Like, he was out off a no ball, and he was dropped very badly by Joss Butler last night. Though, I don't know what it's like to wiki keep, you know, after filling the day and, and that night pink ball. Like, I, I don't know, but it seemed like test match wiki keepers should probably catch. It just seemed like both things can be true. He batted really well, but he was given yeah. it was on, a good it was life on, anyway. It was on 95 as well when that happened. I mean, it was a good knock, you know. No no, no balls yep. as a life. I don't I don't back it. If your foot's a, a bit further back, yep. who knows what happens. Joss Butler drops a catch. Yeah, I mean, enough. I just think, you know, the, the, the caveating of Marnus' century is like saying, is like saying, oh, well, I'm only going to respect a century if it's chanceless now. It's just a, it's just a good knock on a, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, that, but that's, good. That's, that's, that's Bradman stuff. That's Bradman stuff. Um, and the other thing I want to say about, uh, just to get through it, um, about the batting, uh, Kerry batted nicely, as I said before. I think higher ceiling than pain. Oh, yeah. Um, he, look, he looked good. Mate, more than that. It was a perfect. Hi, it was a hi, perf- hi, higher ceiling than High ceiling than Payne now. When Payne was like, when he first came to the Aussie team, Payne was like a fucking gun. He was a, he was a jet. I think Payne. I think. And then like, yeah, yeah. But I think, but I think Kerry now is as a much higher ceiling than what Payne does at the same. Anyway, anyway, point is Kerry batted well. And the second thing, Green looks fucking shit. He's all over the place, isn't he? He's like that was that was a good ball from Stokes. DV had a nicely good leg cutter, but uh, he's so concentrated on not kicking one <laughs> that he's like now just playing down wrong lines. Um, the fact that Australia are going to win this series 5-0, he'll play every game. He's not in any danger, I don't think, of being Mitch Marshed, cycled in and out, I don't think, because they'll just keep him because they want him. And, like, I think he is going to be a gun. He averages, like, 50 in shield cricket. Like, and he's, he's taken big – he took a big wicket in the first game. He'll probably do some shit in this game. But, like, he's batting uh, – he is, he is out of form. Uh, can I talk about Alex Carey for a sec? It was, it was a really good innings. Um, and – the crowd were right behind him as a local boy. He played a couple of really, yep. um, like, really dashing shots. And he played it like a wicketkeeper's innings as well. He came in, he got the game yep. going. Um, he knocked bowlers off their lengths. It was really, it, he was busy. Um, and he was, his innings was the one that turned it from, uh, it, it turned it from a, a grind that Australia was dominating into, he, he transitioned it into comedy runs, which we saw later. Which was brilliant. It was probably mm. the best part of the day. You know, he started knocking the ball around and hitting big shots. Stark yep. came in next, was uh, bougieing them everywhere. Nessa, especially. Jai Richardson played a brutal. Uh, it was his first ball, was it for six? Um, and and yeah. and Kerry Kerry got that tempo going, which is exactly what a wicketkeeper's got to do. Again, the only caveat I think with the whole innings is that everything was coming down at 125 k's an hour, third grade stuff. But they did what they had yeah. to do. And yeah, and then second, yeah, go on, go on, go on. Oh, I was going to say, second that? thing, very quickly, Pez, uh, England's, England's best bowler was, uh, I guess, Stokes took three. Yeah. Um, Ollie Robinson went at one and a half and over. If he bowled tidily, I think one for 40-something off 27. Everyone's bowled way too much. Joe Root even bowled 20-plus overs. They've all bowled way too much. This is, this is the exact problem with Leach out of the side. These bowlers, they've only got one guy to cycle in and out, which is now Wood. These guys are going to be fucked by the time the Hobart test comes around. Probably Sydney, especially given how hot it is. I think it's supposed to be hot for, for Melbourne for Boxing Day as well. And they've and they've like this is this is part of the thing. This this series is over so quickly because these guys have now got so many overs in their legs, <laughs> and um, it's all samey, and none of them are good. So yeah, who was your best bowler, mate? Stokes is the most lively bowler live. You can see, and with Ollie Robinson. Uh, you can tell they respect him. You know, he he comes in off sort of fifteen yards by the end and looks like he can barely move, but he does manage to elicit bounce that makes the batters uncomfortable. But um, 
Stokes the one who looked most likely, and then I mean the rest was. Um, yeah. I guess I respected that Jimmy Anderson seemed to reject all of the tactics and wanted to bowl with slips and stuff because he's he's old and <laughs> just doesn't want to do that grim shit. But um, yeah, it just again it's just the the not not enough firepower, not enough weaponry. It was too it was just too slow. It, it just not enough. Yeah. You know you talked about Rory Burns before nicking that one. Does he have to play? It's a hard it's a harder decision for him to make when it's coming down at one fifty. You know, uh, yep. and and when it's coming twenty k slower, you can be that little bit more precise Ooh. around the off stump. Yeah, I'm going to mix it up today, Pez. I'm going to give you the hashtag RCDC right now. Brought to you by Akko, our dear friends, uh, and it's about Chris Wokes. Uh, Chris uh, Marantelli says, "Is Wokes the pom import that starts in ones because he's an overseas, gets dropped after a few weeks, plays twos until mid-Jan, and then bails when he ends up in third grade, spending the rest of the summer travelling around until the date of his flight home? Hashtag RCDC. Fine question, Chris. Um, I feel like I want to I wanna bathe in the glory of this. <laughs> it's unnecessary. Chris Wokes is an excellent, excellent cricketer in England and maybe some other places. I said this like fucking like two years ago. Chris works in Australia. What's the point? Like he is. He took he took one for he the last wicket, didn't he? he got he got uh, yeah, Richardson. Richardson out the last. Yeah, he finished one for one hundred and three. He was he was ordinary in Brisbane. He won't play, I'm sure, in Melbourne and Sydney because those are way flatter and deader wickets. Um, you know what? That's just the, that's the hard thing. It's it's the hard thing about <clears throat> not. It's this isn't about Chris Wokes necessarily. It's not even about playing in Australia. It's about like picking the right players to come out to different continents, to different wickets, all away tours. You can't like y- your best eleven players at Edgebaston are going to be so rarely your best eleven players in Ahmedabad or Joburg or Adelaide or fucking whatever. You know, like, and I just feel like. He he's an excellent player and he's a he's a he's an international cricketer. There's no doubt about that. He's not you know it's fun to say threes, but he's not. But what's the fucking point he's of shy him is. with a kookaburra? It's it's you know yet they've had years to plan that like to they saw what they've seen what's happened this decade with their players out here. Broad and Anderson barely fucking move the dial here. Like it's just statistically it doesn't make any sense. Now I I reckon. England are like a Joffre Archer away from making this a really interesting series because he brings up everyone, including the batters, I, I feel it, because then Rory Burns is under less pressure. But c- can, you pin, can you pin your entire program and one guy who's only played a handful of tests anyway? Um, I don't know, man, um, you know? Uh, know. This, 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 this is my frustration with England generally. I mean, what are they meant to do? I mean, who's you picking instead of Chris Wokes? I mean, they knew what they wanted to do. They wanted to come out. Yeah. And, they wanted to come out and they wanted to bowl fast. And all the coats got injured. That's what happened. And so yeah. they so they went with their international. They seasoned internationals. They don't know who's kicking around yeah. county cricket. Who's nah. screaming? Darren Stevens. Yeah. I mean, who's screaming for that pink ball? You know, no, I don't, no one can. No one can mm. bowl over one thirty in England. Really, can they? It's a it was a mm. Reese Topley. Because you don't we, need what, to. Are, what are we doing? You know, uh, yeah. there's Sam Curran. Well, I mean, he's another totem of English cricket. I mean, it's just it's just not fit. For, it's just <laughs> yeah. not fit for purpose out here. You're right. Look, I wanted. I thought. I thought Works was a really improved cricketer, and I thought he would be able to um, ad- adapt and cause problems here. You were right. Um, I was wrong. Um, I just want to go to that Happy Gilmore thing now. <laughs> You're smart. Yeah, of course, I'm of dumb. course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm dumb. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You're attractive. <laughs> I, you're good looking. I'm not very attractive. Um, all true, but uh, yeah, he, he, you're right. He just he just doesn't he just doesn't have the tools to, and it's all zero sum. You know, he he does he doesn't have yeah, the tools to threaten our world class players on our home tracks. Very few countries do. Yeah. You know, and they talk. They had their planning. They knew what they wanted to do. They all got injured. You know how much of injury yeah. is luck, how much of injury is management, you know. I'll leave that to the physios and the sports mm. scientists. I'm not going to say anything to them at all, actually. <laughs> um, does that mean it's bad luck? No, but they just, they, look, they don't develop, um, they don't develop players to come out here. And, you know, it's a tough one because they, don't, they they'd come out here every four years. It's just increasingly difficult for countries to develop um, fit-for-purpose plays in mm. all manner of conditions across three yeah. formats. I mean, the, the economy of cricket rewards you for winning at home. You know, they get their guys ready for, at home. 
I struggle there as well, actually. Mm. <laughs> but um, the mm. they just don't have the players to match India. And they've played some good teams this year, England. You know, they've had to take on the World Test champions, India and Australia. Doesn't mm. get harder, and they've been mm. they're getting towed up. They're not as good, you know. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> well, that's the voice of reason, Sam Perry, right there. Okay, for, uh, third and final. Thing, oh, sorry, Pez, yeah, Australia make early. Wokes, wokes, yeah, wokes, doesn't, wokes plays shires uh, out here, so it's um, yeah, 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 because um, yeah. <laughs> uh, he doesn't have to train. That's perfect, exactly. But he's that player. Just to answer your question, Chris. Yeah, sorry. Third thing. Um, Australia make early inroads. Uh, let's talk about the main thing. We've already talked about Starks dismissal, I suppose. Um, they only bought a few overs, but uh, Nisa gets the gets the wicket of his second ball, um, and you know what? This was just fucking. This was this was the thing, and the only thing that's maybe missed playing cricket. That and like a run out, a calamitous run out. Because in that huddle, it's fucking boys. It's so boys in the huddle. It's fucking. I want to rub your hair for some reason. Is it a good luck charm? Is it a salad thing? I don't know. Jai Richardson, Nisa, new salad, new things for my eyes to 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 gorge on. You know, to, to, to trappings for the eyes, new things to look at. I'm enjoying that. Christmas is upon us. Christmas has come early, <laughs> all over my head. What? Um, and you know, and Swepson and Kawaja, his Queensland brethren, come running in. They're carrying drinks. They're fucking sprinting on the field, embracing him. Nice has been in fifteen. I think it's fifteen squads in a row. Gets his first chance because the captain sits next to a guy with COVID or whatever. Uh, he can now drive home or whatever the fuck is and weird Australian shit going on there. But you know, the most important thing is that the England opening batsman um, gets out caught at mid on. <laughs> <laughs> Got it mid on in a pink ball test match. I'm going to hit that to mid on. That's how I get out I'm, in the test match. I'm going to shovel it to mid on. I'm going to shovel Michael Neeson's yeah. second ball shovel. to mid on. What is it? You threw it too early? I don't understand. Yeah. I oh, mean, it was great. You kind of middled it. The, uh, it was, it was, there was a really feel good vibe in the ground. Everyone was aware of the Nisa yeah. story. Uh, you know, like it, he cried when he got his baggy green. You can tell how uh, how Weak. that's what I thought. I was I was a yeah. bit circumspect yeah. about the whole thing, to be honest. I'm like crying. What are we looking at? Can we here? change? Can we can we can we Sean Abbott in? Can we, that's I don't like that. Where's yeah, Sabah? Like that. Where's Sab? Sab? <laughs> where's Sab? 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 Are you having a kid? Are you? Okay, yeah. Sab? Ness is tearing. Yeah. Ness is tearing up here. Sab. What are you looking? <laughs> Ness is having a blub. <laughs> He's having a top now a blub. He's having a blubber. Oh, I'll get it, man. <laughs> Sav has just had a kid. All right, yeah, I'm coming. I get it. Uh, anyway, it was a really feel good vibe. Everyone <laughs> anyway. knew his story, <laughs> and and yeah. it you know the comical runs came beforehand, which is and I'll, I'll thank um, Patrick who gave me that line and also tickets gave me that that written line. <laughs> Uh, Pat Cummins, wow, okay, interesting. And um, yeah, it, it, and Nessa was he was commanding with the bat. He looked great. Is he? Is he? Uh, yeah, yeah. Is he the all rounder the selectors think Cameron Green is? It's um, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was, and and you could tell he was up for it. He was just, he was his debut. He um, just obviously bowled with an extra yard. Uh, it was, and the, you're mm. totally right about trappings for the eyes. Uh, Jai Richardson, I, I I coo over Jai Richardson. As I love the, I love the way. Ooh, cool, cool. I, I like the way he moves. You know, I mean, I'm not gonna deny. Yeah. I'm not gonna deny that. I like that it's full. I like that no, it no. swings. It goes. It, it goes both ways. It's nippy, zippy. Yeah. Um. And yep. yeah. It, so it was good trappings for the eyes, and it was a shame that. Uh, Play got abandoned just being there. Like the, it, it was funny actually. Went Stark bowled to Milan, and obviously this would have come up on the TV, but everybody saw it. it, it this this enormous lightning bolt struck just as Stark mm. let go of the ball. There was nothing on the mm. on the bomb about the um the weather that was coming in, and there was just this massive lightning strike. And I just it was oh. it was kind of that was the vibe at the time. It was you know one of those ones where we'd had some comedy runs. England 150 overs in the dirt. All of a sudden it was going to become a mm. minefield. The ball's going to throw 20 k's <laughs> faster. And uh, I just wanted the lightning to strike and Milan stumps to just cartwheel everywhere, just blow up. The stumps are on fire now, struck by lightning. <laughs> yeah! It's like Bill Hicks with Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. I want him to die in a pool of their own blood. Yeah! Uh, I meant there was, a, fuck, there, was a bloke, yes. there was a bloke three rows in front of me. He's driven down from Cuba Pedy. You know, he's got his big, <laughs> he's got his big cap on, just yipping and yahooing. It was Australia. 
you know. <laughs> Everything was boys. Oh, it was that's good. Australia. It was good. Mate, it, it felt it felt like watching the air was thick, mm. you know, just before a thunderstorm. It's like, oh, fucking thick air is human. Yeah. yeah, it's probably going to storm later. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you fucking work for the bomb, do you? Yeah. You fucking... Why do you talk like that? Oh, I'm just talking to my close personal friends. How I talk to my reverend. <laughs> I'm just in confession here. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you're fucking talking to God there, are you, mate? Oh, you fucking have a little chit chat there. You you gonna blubber up there? You fucking little weak. I love a bit of. I love a. Uh, we could do something or like side mouth confessions. You know, just in the confessional. Imagine that Catholic Church confessions for everything side mouth. But how are you looking there? Yeah. <laughs> confessions in grade terms. <laughs> Got yourself a lot of booth there, do you? <laughs> Sitting down there. All right, right. that'll just about. Sorry. <laughs> oh, you're sitting down, are you? Wow, okay. Yeah, sore back, is it? Mm, okay. All right, that'll just about do, Pez, for day two. Uh, you're coming home to my warm embrace tomorrow uh, for Saturday. Uh, thank you so much for, for covering the game uh, mm, yeah. out there, uh, doing 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 the Lord's work yep. out there. Yep. Uh, and thank you, everyone, out there. Thank you, Twacko. Thanks for tuning in, listening or watching, whatever the fuck you're doing. Uh, see you tomorrow. Cheers. <laughs>